one of the more intriguing propositions in modern cosmology that actually still doesn't have a very specific evidence behind it is what's known as cosmic strings. A physical formation that represents a defect created extremely early in the universe. And basically representing a kind of a crack formed in the universe after it suddenly finished expanding early on. To some extent somewhat similar to what we usually see in ice, as various deformations form as little cracks. But unlike ice, this would be basically a topological defect, extremely small in size in terms of width, much much smaller than even one nanometer, yet being extremely long and also very very dense and potentially very massive. Basically being a result of the universe expanding, slowing down and creating these unusual deformations that would then possibly even form networks or maybe loops. And just like with water turning into ice, this is a result of a phase transition in the early universe. The universe was obviously much hotter and much smaller, and then it suddenly became really large and really cold. And the formation of these strings would most likely have occurred during the first few moments of the evolution of the universe. Possibly just after the completion of what's known as cosmological inflation. And though it might seem like a somewhat far-fetched idea, they're actually predicted by the quantum field theory and a few other cosmological ideas as well. But it's actually important to note, these cosmic strings are not the same as the string theory. Same name, not the same concept. Although intriguingly, the string theory also predicts the existence of cosmic strings in its own way. But despite all of these predictions and explanations, they obviously have never really been officially seen. With one obvious reason being that they would be extremely thin and very very difficult to observe. As a matter of fact, the only way to observe them would be through strange gravitational effects in their vicinity. But in the last few years, we've discussed at least a few cases where potential discovery has been made. You can find those videos in the description. And well, how wonderful person this is Anton. In this video we're going to discuss yet another potential discovery described in this paper you can find in the description that basically suggests that we might have discovered another maybe sign for the existence of yet another cosmic string. But in this case it's an extremely preliminary discovery and so the only reason I wanted to talk about this is because this topic is always fun to cover. Whether the actual discovery was made or not we'll discuss at the end of the video. First I guess let's start with the observations, how they were made and what exactly they mean for us when it comes to discovering these unusual formations. First of all let me just reiterate the obvious. Cosmic strings are very difficult to prove observationally. And that's because the effects they produce can be explained in so many other ways. They can literally be anything but the strings. But there are very minute differences that can definitely suggest that this is one of these objects. For example, one way scientists believe we can maybe find them is by finding unusual gravitational lines in effects that instead of producing a typical gravitational lens, such as for example what we usually see, like the ones produced by many galactic clusters, you can actually see a lot of them right here, in case of a cosmic string they would actually produce something almost akin to a mirror image. In other words they would produce a duplicate image of a galaxy somewhere, with light not just being exactly similar but even arriving to us at exactly the same time. And that's because these strings are extremely tiny in size and so the light lens by these objects arrives to us at pretty much the same time. With a lot of larger objects such as galaxies or galactic clusters, the bent light travels much farther distances, it actually arrives at different times, sometimes as far back as several years. This is often useful for very different reasons, such as for example seeing the same supernova several times. But in a case of a tiny string this would be basically instant. And so seeing a mirror image with the light arriving at the same time from two different locations is maybe a telltale sign that something is going on here. Intriguingly, some of the earlier observations from the cosmic microwave background did initially suggest that there were certain duplications of certain fluctuations potentially revealing these really massive very long strings in the early universe. But follow-up studies and more detailed observations conducted several times and several years later discovered pretty much nothing. It was basically just parts of CMB that sort of kind of looked the same, but they were not mirror images. Another more recent report was from this very strange double quasar known as Q0957 plus 561A and B. This is called a double quasar because it was initially thought to be two quasars, 
but turns out that this is just one object, with a massive galaxy in front of them, making them gravitationally lensed. But a few years back, scientists reported that something unusual happened here, with both quasars suddenly producing the same light and even producing the same powerful emissions at exactly the same time for at least a hundred days, which then stopped after that period. This was a very unusual phenomenon and a very unusual anomaly, but at least one team of scientists tried to explain this as a potential passage of one of these mysterious cosmic strings right through the region somewhere in the middle, which in some sense would explain what was observed here. But this is obviously a very big speculative assumption and not enough proof to show anything. A few more similar observations have been made here and there, usually using the Hubble telescope, you can learn more about them in the videos in the description, but no major concrete discoveries have been made so far. And so this new paper claims to have made one concrete discovery, which I guess could be analyzed in the future. And so let's find out what's happening here. Once again, yet another exact mirror observation of a galaxy far away, with scientists suggesting that the light is coming at exactly the same time, with absolutely no difference. Currently they refer to this as CSC1, Cosmic String Candidate 1. Although the actual string itself was observed inside the cosmic microwave background map and was from a previous study back from 2019. And so by looking in the region where all of this is, the researchers claim to have discovered two galaxies that seem to be like a normal pair, very close together and looking very similar, but not at all distorted and producing no time delay between them at all. And though obviously this could be just two separate galaxies, the analysis reveals that these are practically the same galaxy. According to the scientists, the spectrum seems to be exactly the same, although to be honest to me, they don't actually look the same. I mean, like look at this dip here, which doesn't seem to exist here, but we'll talk more about this near the end of the video, while also suggesting that there doesn't seem to be any mass in front of these galaxies to suggest any natural gravitational ends, with the overall conclusion for the scientists behind this paper being that this is maybe a cosmic string. Now, I would love to believe that, but the problem is that this particular paper is just not good enough to prove anything. And I guess let me just get this out of the way. I mean, first of all, for such a big claim, this paper is only like, what, five pages long. And the actual analysis is extremely short. The evidence is just maybe two images. That's just not enough to prove anything. And I mean, I don't want to sound too negative here, but that's a huge claim for a very huge phenomenon. We definitely expect way more evidence especially because the evidence provided is just really not showing us anything. More importantly, the visual evidence they used here is really old. Some of the images they used to try to see this is from some of the older observations of the system. They don't really show us much at all. And you can actually see this for yourself. This is sort of the images they used. They barely show us anything. As a matter of fact, a few years ago, a much better and much more accurate image was released of all of this, and here you can even kind of maybe see that this doesn't really look like exactly the same object. I mean, I'm not saying this is not the same object or this is maybe not gravitational lens, but at least at first glance, it really looks like just two galaxies potentially on the collision course. I mean, the authors do state that this is at exactly the same distance, and so a galactic collision in this case is not out of the question. You can actually explore this by yourself by using one of the links in the description, but in essence, even if there is something hiding here and if the authors were able to discover something, the evidence they provide is just really, really not enough. And in the past, this was precisely the same explanation for a lot of other similar claims. Two galaxies that appeared to be similar and were actually claimed to be maybe a sign of cosmic strings just turned out to be very similar galaxies close to one another, but in essence were always two different galaxies. And it was always revealed using much more accurate data and much more accurate observations with newer telescopes. They also further claim that there are other similar galaxies in this region, although they don't tell us which ones, but so far there's just no evidence for anything here. I mean, it would be a really big discovery if one of the cosmic strings was finally confirmed, but it's unlikely to be coming from this particular paper. If they provide better observations and better analysis, it might make a stronger case. Right now though, this is definitely not it. There is however an exciting observation from just a couple of years ago, where scientists listening to gravitational waves did actually discover a potential sign of cosmic strings somewhere else in the universe. You can learn more about this in one of the videos in the description. Now that's actually one way we can potentially prove their existence, by hearing their interaction with the rest of the universe through literally a formation of a kind of a gravitational wave music. 
That would be a telltale sign that they exist and they seem to be all over the place. Because these are really massive and very dense objects, they would produce powerful gravitational waves. And because gravitational wave scientists did make a major announcement just a few months ago, and they actually did detect an unusual hum coming from everywhere, for all we know, maybe this is exactly what's causing it. But at the moment, all of this is still a very big speculation. Once there's more evidence or more proof or actual visual confirmation coming from somewhere specific, I'll make sure to follow this up with the next video. Until then, it's just going to stay a hypothesis and a prediction from various models, not something that's physically proven to exist just yet. And so until those future videos, check out all the links in the description. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who has learned about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.